Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. My name is uh, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Uh, this is my partner. Her name is my name, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you just did. <laughs> Look what you just did. You just destroyed. <laughs> Maybe I should turn the input down a little, a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be so fucking funny. Ah, stop! Not until you apologize for calling me... We're not even gonna fucking... We're just going... We're just firing off. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't mean it. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Mm. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this. <laughs> shouldn't do what? Right? You just want to lick it off her finger? Please just lick it off her finger. What? You say Yori. Okay, yeah. I, I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. <gasps> this will either be good or bad. <sighs> what? Did you seriously just... Uh, Natsuki's so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Edgar. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, oh! Oh no! I wish I would have picked Sayori, but also this is magical. Oh, but uh, Sayori! I love. You just had a moment with her. You just hugged her, and now this. I you love fucking player. This. You fucking player. I love this. Look at her fucking face. Look at her fucking she gigantic likes eyes. She wants you to like her too. You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? Dot, dot, dot. What kind of question she asked me just like that. How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I. <laughs> oh, look at oh, that face. I, I love this. She's asking for My it. My cheeks hurt because I'm smiling she so hard. She wants it so now. bad. Look at that. Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? All the blood's rushing to my cock. <laughs> Getting lightheaded. <laughs> Eh? Out of nowhere. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is, some, is something burning? I thought you didn't put in the cupcakes yet. <laughs> no wonder. You left that dirty tray in here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes. That, <laughs> that escalated quickly. Jeez, Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah, the tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. Damn it. Sayori! Natsuki. Natsuki, though. I love her. Look at her. You just met her! Yeah, she's cute, but Sayori's been your friend forever! I want. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven, and then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah! All better. <sighs> ah, that <laughs> smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. Mm. Fuck you! You could have been doing some pulling out, but you fucking blew it. Right. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all are. She probably shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought that. Mm -mm. That's because I haven't eaten, so my my me body too. my oh body my God, is like rejecting we need to go eat. the not eating. Me too. Uh, we'll eat in 25 minutes. Uh, I brought decorating stuff, so you hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Now, Tuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make them look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? I proceed to start drawing a giant wiener. First the boober, then the shaft, followed by the testicles. <laughs> Don't forget the vein. <laughs> Did you make that up? 
Why? Was it funny? <laughs> yes. Then yes. Did you though? Yeah. Hey, good for you. Keep that. Practicing Keep that my there. improv, huh? What, how's that? That fucking thought, do anything for you? I thought you stole it. It was so good. Improving about a dick. That's that's so you. That is me. <laughs> well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literature themed by writing different word on each of the cupcakes. Aww, that's cute. I forgot the word A, but that's fine. I'm sleepy. It'd be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Aww. Ooh. Hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a really cute idea, so... Uh, maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on, son. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well... That took his voice trails off. <laughs> oh, she thinks I'm cute. <laughs> Same with you. Eh? Did you, did you say something? N no, nothing. Let's just do the icing. Matsuki picks up and fastens the nozzle into each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without going to think thinking about it before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She, do you want me to read your part? No, I got it. <laughs> I'm just, like, tired and throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real it's fine, problem. It's fine. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look how pretty they are together. I say that when I look myself holding my penis in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Less good improv. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, they are. <clears throat> yeah, they are, aren't they? My two slightly different voices. Ooh, I wish I could have one right now. She didn't say right. I just threw that in there. Well, there's a reason you can't, right? That time he did say right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Uh, yes. She's so little, she only takes so much. Hey no. Sarah's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need as much of it as I can. Well, anyway. Yeah, she likes eating what daddy puts out. Wow. <laughs> I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Oh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki puts blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes home. Home? <laughs> you can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? And if you and Sierra each carry something, you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. Ah! I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so hopeless. Helpless, even. Sayori, does al Sayori always does listen to me, but at that point, I felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out. I guess. Wow. <laughs> he probably what a gentleman, it. I guess. Like Just like that, Natsuki's already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that... Did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? You were on top of her, you licking were, her you finger. Were, you were kind of all up on her. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. <gasps> eh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that, if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. He probably didn't say it like an idiot, like I did. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere... Um, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. I want to play Natsuki. <laughs> yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Edgar, I thought you only cared about getting this done. Ooh, I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I really, I would really stay longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so. Oh. That's the music, hello? Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the side of my shirt as if holding on to me. I fucking love this. I love everything about this. Sayori, you see. <laughs> her rose colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it for a while now. 
That's okay. Suddenly jumps back. Sayori. <laughs> oh no! Next time on. Di- Just kidding. It's been like ten minutes. We're still going. Fuck that shit. You okay? Yeah, I need this picture. You need the, what picture? I need a picture of this. Why? Full on. There you go. Okay. You good? Yeah. Why? Just cause. I'm unclear. Forever will be. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I was reading my line. <laughs> okay. Which one do you want? I can't fucking leave that in. <sighs> <laughs> God damn. You know like my line? You want me to read it again? Hi, hi Edgar. Sayori. Just just now we weren't <laughs> fucking admit oh my god. That was amazing. I loved everything everything about that. It's okay, Edgar. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh well, y- you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. <laughs> Jesus. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come here to see for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki and how close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you've been such good friends. And you've made such good friends? That one. <laughs> That's all that matters to me. Tears have to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> Why am I feeling this way, Edgar? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. See <laughs> Good impression of me. Sayori, don't say that. (laughs) It's true, Edgar. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Dot, dot, dot. Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... but Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Edgar. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That you might like... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori... It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Edgar, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Sayori. Not interested. (laughs) I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I always... Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. That's just dick. Ah! Next time on Doggy Dog. Just kidding. We're still going. It's only about 15 minutes. Let's go. The fucking hype. Who are you choosing, Nasuki or Sayori? Come on, man. You know who I want. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate it. I don't. It's, I'm not happy about it. I know. That's true. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. I know, <laughs> I know you love Sayori. <laughs> I do. You'll always be my dearest friend. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help getting, I'll help get things back to the way they were. I, I see. See where it forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> is this what it oh. feels like to get stabbed in the chest? Oh, <laughs> baby. I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. 
This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I know this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right that I just want to go back the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know better than anyone, Edgar. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... Sarah's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not <laughs> That also probably... <laughs> Oh my god! What is wrong with you? He said, <laughs> Can you stop coming for one minute and just give a give a battle cry for fuck's sake? I don't think it's a battle cry, is it? Ah! <laughs> no, you're from from your chest. Okay. Okay, well don't do it directly in the you notice how when I scream, I, 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 back, up, I back the fuck up? Because look at what you just did. Look at what you just did. Fucking hell. I'm going to blow my goddamn eardrums I'm out. I'm trying. <laughs> this is hard. Ah. <laughs> okay, okay, we're done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Dot, dot, dot. Sarah looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. She didn't flash me. Calm down. Sayori! Dot, dot, dot. I'm left helplessly standing in the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if, <clears throat> I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give her everything I've got. Sorry will always be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Hmm. That's not enough. She wants your dick. She does want my dick. <gasps> it's the day of the festival! It's the day of the festival! Please stop screaming into the, mu in the Sorry, mic directly. Sorry, it's the day of the festival. You can scream just back up. It's the day of the festival! There you go. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori, but Sayori <gasps> isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up. But you decided broke that her heart, and now she's not going to help you carry the cupcakes. That bitch! <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. I, I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes by myself by carefully stacking the two trays. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Edgar! You're the first one here! Thanks for being early! That's funny, I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. Are you supposed to be writing your own poetry? Yeah, he's done. Well, I mean, no. She said it was cool. You can... I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. <gasps> you'd think on days like this... You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and suddenly I feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Edgar. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. How does she know everything? She's a club president after all. She's a time lord. She breaks the fourth <laughs> wall all the time. She knows everything. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the times. Ooh. <laughs> oh, right, that's me. I'm the club president after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sarah really tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? It makes me really, 
<laughs> that makes me really seem like the bad guy here, but I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? <laughs> Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. <laughs> Time Lord! Dude, I really want to play the whole game over again already. <laughs> eh? Monica is being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped to the pages. Each member's me member, each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognized Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the one they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh! That's not a poem! That's not a poem! Percent? Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Uh, what is this? Well, let me come in here and see you nude. You like that? What kind of guy are you are? Reading the poem, I felt I get a pit in my stomach. Edgar, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna get go get Sayori. So. Ah. Uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking to school to <clears throat> walking her to school really makes her happy. I fucked up. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and that's what I want to give her. Did she like kill herself? I reached Sayori's house and I re. <clears throat> I didn't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. I don't want to. I can't. I can't do this. Please. I Say can't. Right. She really is a heavy no, sleeper. I can't. I can't. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? In any case. <laughs> Stop hitting me. You, you want to push space? Oh. <laughs> Waking her up in her own house. Isn't that something a boyfriend would do? just feels right. <laughs> Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. You got nothing? What the hell? What the hell? What the- Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed Sayori to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best that, and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession, that has to be what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what she wanted out of a relationship, then I could have prevented this. Then I could have prevented this. <laughs> Somebody said that time, but I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. Screw the rules. I have money. Screw Natsuki. <laughs> I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Nope. <laughs> I only had one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. 
but I still couldn't do what she needed for me, and now I can never take it back. Never, 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 never. No, okay. Wait, does that always happen? <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> hey, uh, you know you ever, you ever heard of this game before? <gasps> what do you what do you <gasps> what do you say we? What do you say we play a nice, friendly little, little, little game about poems? <laughs> what happened? Let's, let's, let, here, let's, let's play. Let's start a new game. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making the day, but it just works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. And if she's going to chase me like after, the, I feel I must feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let <laughs> catch up to me. <laughs> it's an ordinary school day, like any other. You remember when you wanted to play the game over again? Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting... <laughs> you okay? No, I'm not! I feel my heart! I'm not okay! I can't believe you did this! I didn't do shit! You killed me! You killed me! Is that your God, what the fuck? I didn't do shit! You chose Natsuki! I love Natsuki. <laughs> you, is there a, if you choose Sayori, does she not die? Or is she gonna kill herself no matter what? I, I don't understand! I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average <laughs> while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always an anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Are you gonna, gonna make it? <laughs> yeah. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Edgar? Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Sure has. Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk. We were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely, genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I'm just looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? The mass debate <laughs> club. About that... I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that's so, so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. We had a whole conversation about that. Well, one time, like a month ago. <laughs> yeah. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. <gasps> Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists the manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Nope. Some members are bigger than others. <laughs> Some members are dead because of you. No. He's I can't fuck believe they did that. Mom. No. Did what? They showed that. I can't. That's going to be Scar. I can't. I can't believe they did that. I thought that was the spoiler you saw. No. I know. I was so fucking glad when you told me it wasn't that. 
I was not okay with that. I can't believe they did that. Now, do they always uh, do that? If warning. you pick Sayori, well, they still do. They should have had a trigger warning. They did. This game warning. This game is not suitable for those who are easily disturbed. I guess, yeah. Did Monica say she? Hmm. Oh, that's me. That's you. Did Monica say she? Hmm. Good impression of me, though. Hey, Edgar. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, Edgar, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Awesome well, new. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Yeah, technically this isn't the same as starting the game over. You know, I noticed. Like there's, slight, it's, slight. there's a lot of stuff missing. Monica, full of energy, swings the door, open the classroom door. I'm back! She never left. And I brought a guest with me! Eh? A, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Edgar! Dot dot dot. Always escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! <laughs> Got through it. I made it. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Huh. <laughs> anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Edgar in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Why don't you come sit down, Edgar? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Edgar, what kind of things do you like to read? Oh, shit. I don't. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. <laughs> Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. 
She seems so reserved and timid the, since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that her lies. By the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Yeah, fucking bad. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Oh, shit. Yeah, like that fucking loop. Yeah, look at that sly smile. She knows what she's talking about. Well, she doesn't, but Monica does. Actual line from... Look at that sly... From, Actually, I want, from, I want from, to From the opening. It's pretty fucking perfect. Is that why they redo the opening to show you we had yep. you all along? Yep. You could have yep. known. Mm -hmm. But but we couldn't. We didn't. There's no way we could have known. Hurry up, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, calm your titties. <laughs> there are no calming these tits. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Okay, mm. I guess. Uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't stop. Surreal Sorry. horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Yeah? Ugh, I hate horror. Huh? Why is that? Well, I just... And Tsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Tsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! It's a weird title. <laughs> Give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open to, to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Dot, dot, dot. I guess it's... <clears throat> I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Dot, dot, dot. Ah, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for us all to participate in together. I did decide to take on a responsibility of vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nature the club as well as its members. Besides, oh, now that we have a new member... She can fucking nurture my member any day. It seems like a good step for us to take. Do you guys agree as well, Edgar? <laughs> Hold on, there's still one problem. Isn't say you're supposed to be the vice president? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Fucking blunt. I never said I would join this club! Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I have other clubs to look at, and, uh, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. <laughs> eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Edgar. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. Yeah, have you? And if we don't find one more before the festival, everyone dies, and it's your dot, fault. Dot, dot, dot. I'm defenseless against these girls. For, fuck you. <laughs> How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Oh, I feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Now I'm rise. <laughs> I'm actually still not okay with that. I'm still very distraught over what just happened. Oh, yeah. You're going to be thinking about that for the next week. I'm hurt inside. I can't. I can't.
can't. How can we just play this happy-go-lucky game with the pretty girls knowing one's gone? Because she loves you too much. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fucking working some shit out over there. <laughs> Okay. I could never have seen that coming. You're looking at me with crazy eyes. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm okay. Are you? Is that the big twist? Are we going back to the normal game now? One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Edgar? Yeah. It could be fun, right? Are they all going to kill themselves? Until they're just Monica? Is that going to work? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super pissed. Because I can't take that again. <sighs> Edgar, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're missed, really amazing. You missed the part where I twice made a violent motioning motion. I'm sorry. With okay. my hand okay. to be like, read your line. Stop we'll asking there. questions. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a lot for me to take in right now. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Fuck yes. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meetings we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Edgar, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. Guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day in, after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to glue club all right, I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me and I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Yeah! And next time on Doki Doki Literature Club... You have a special poem, would you like to read it? Oh no... Is so you gonna get one from the dead? I don't know... Yes! Next time on Doki Doki Literature Club, let's see what we got. <laughs> scared me too i'm actually scared i'm kind of i'm not i mean i'm scared i'm just kind of like what the fuck is this gonna be oh you don't know i don't know oh okay <laughs> okay stop so we can record again let's go let's go let's go